Uh, I'm not mistaken. Yan. Yes. Kiko yung Jomi. Uh, I'm so excited, uh, Wolf. May mga curveball na binato dito. Ang Omega next week was, what do you think is gonna happen? Who's got the early game? And eventually, what if we scale? Who's got the late? Uh, definitely late game sa side ng NXP yung Sicilian in the gold lane. We've seen this before. Maganda naman yung matchup niya versus Popol and Koopa. Ang tricky nga lang is what if mag- magkaroon ng plus one itong si Popol and Koopa sa lane. Paano pag naging nun yung Rafaela? It will definitely change the dynamic. Ang uh, masasabi ko sa... In a way, maganda pa rin yung late game na Omega. Pero baka kasi mahirapan sila. Although Ling makes sense against Sicilian, may lockdown na na expect natin mula sa Ruby. Um, Ruby sa ngayon, sa meta game natin ngayon, as of um, as of previous uh, tournaments na we see, uh, sorry, as of previous days na nakita natin dito, naka-counter ng Ruby ang Ling. Hindi dahil hard counter siya, but more like isa siyang way para mailang palagi itong Ling. At nakita natin yan sa Onyx Philippines, nakita natin yan kahapon with another series that we saw Ruby go up against the Ling. It's uh, good. And, It kind of makes me scared. Bakit yung link yung kanilang nila speak? But we'll see. Uh, Popo and Rafa might be the one that's to alleviate the pressure in the early stages of the game. Omega knows exactly what they're doing. Tina natin kung ano nga ba magiging yeah. layout at kung sino sino ang ng mga heroes na ito sa game number one. Let's go into the battle. This is Omega versus the Next Play Evos. Uh, so yeah, it's it's, it's indeed si Hayes, si Batano na naka Matilda. Tapos, gold lane, si Silio niya, Wolf. So, okay. Medyo, yeah. men, medyo normal lang ang mundo. Nag-get sa natin. Nagtingnan natin. <laughs> yep. So, um, donut on this uh, Sicilian. Uh, wag kayo masyadong ma-surprise. This, wa- this will not be the first time. Uh, this wasn't the first time na makita tayo na gold lane na Sicilian. In fact, noong uh, season 7 pa lang ng MPL sa Indonesia ay ginagaw- ginagawa na to ng mga players. For now, it will be seen in the hands of the donut. Oo! Oh, oh. Kadenza! Konti na lang. Nakapag-shield pa with the ejector proc. Could have been first blood. Yeah. So, ang tricky for uh, next play is napilitan silang gamitin itong Ruby doon sa may XP lane kung saan masaya pa rin dito si Renzio. And overall sa game, there's a lot of shielding from NXP boss courtesy of the joint and the Matilda. But H2 already! na pinag-initan. Again, early on, walang masyadong mobility itong Aulus na ganito. And ang layo ng uh, support niya. So, two, so far, off cam kill onto Oreshi. Yep. So, yun lang yung na, napasama. Doon lang napasama yung NXP boss. Maganda yung Ruby versus uh, many members of Omega. But, in the laning stage, magsasuffer talaga sa isang Esmeralda. Specifically because of Avarice, tapos malakas talaga mag ng Esmeralda versus Melee. Wala mang uh, malakas na barrier itong uh, Ruby. Same time, hindi niya kayang uh, ipalow itong ating Esmeralda kasi naman nga siya. In fact, Reggie is level 5, hindi pa nagsin support dito si Oreshi. And you can also see it in the gold, but wait lang! Outplay taken down! Mabawi dito! Tempest of Blade underneath the turret! Si Donut naman ang mga wala. One for one so far. Pero yung turtle nasimula na dito. Who has the advantage? Down ago the turtle. Aulus makakuha H2 with the shield. Ah! Mga double kill si Uresh. Ni Renzi yung sinasiyaw sa dito. Ang daming shields between Cadenza and H2. Pero mukhang kulang pa. Babalikan niya lang sa lane. Wolf, medyo nakahabol ang next playivos doon. They're at parity now. Maybe just 100 gold between 3 minutes in. Well, Oreshi, sobrang ganda ang comeback. Recovery nun when it comes to the overall farm nito si Oreshi. Dahil nakakuha siya ng double kill. Tapos, kills sa early stages para sa isang uh, hero na naka-festival of blood. Definitely one thing na gustong gusto niyan. Um, now with the uh, dalawa na agad yung napastock niya doon. Makes it so na pwede na siyang umikot. Magsaswap din sila. Ibibigay kay H2 itong top lane. At mabukunta sa mid lane si Oreshi. I wonder what that decision was. Uh, temporary rotation lang. I think next Flavos also nagtataka na sila. Kasi kumpara naman sa Omega, mas maganda yung rotational speed nila na bigay ng Rafaela. Because of the holy healing, right? Like you have more movement speed. So ngayon nagre-repair sila. Ayan, bumabalik na. Normal na ulit. But this also opens up Ryzen. Kumukuha ng uh, Purple Steel. Inuna niya. Kunin, uh, kunin yung kay H2 instead of securing his own. Going for the Retribution. Iniwan pa yung maliit for added salt to the wound. Oh. At nakakuha pa siya ng DHS on top. Parang extra na lang yun, eh, no? Pero wait lang. That's going <laughs> to be an... I'm offended on Renzio. Kaya pa niya pa nagamit yung uh, pure... Ano, uh, yung flicker. 
So he's okay. Uh, tatlo, papadala ng next play Evos dito. Try to finish the job. Pero may setup lang sila. 20 seconds until uh, the second turn to... So maganda ang position. Ang next play Evos dito. Then Jill. Paminis ang dulo ng Andai. Fury Ejector! Run to Oreshi. Nakakatatlo na. Dito ang Ruby natin. Takno. Kami rin. Aizen as well. May purple buff pa. Ooh! That's gonna be the back miss. The missing. It is a blade force out. Ito max. Less than half health. Ang hirap ang engagement ng Omega Eastwood dito. Very good for next play though. Okay, so um, gusto ko yung ginawa doon ni Cadenza. Instead na straight up mag-flicker siya tapos unstoppable force, kumuhunta muna siya doon sa kanang bush, doon sa Crammer's bush, and making sure na wala ang kahit anong support doon si Regio, then eventually pops niya unstoppable force under the turret. Kaya naman nakakuha sila ng isang malinis na takedown doon kay Regio. No exchange whatsoever. However, ang uh, Omega Esports naman ay dinadaan ito sa mapa. Ryzen, making it so na lumalaki yung distance niya when, uh, when it comes to the farm compared to H2 by taking out the jungle creeps ng blue side. Yep, uh, already no. Meron na nga siyang lamang na isang purple na libre siya ng purple kay H2. Mm -hmm. So, bibilangin natin 'yan uh, kung uh, later on we'll also see yung gold gap sa XP gap nila. But so far, almost 6 minutes in, more than a minute until the next turtle. Slowly nakikita natin na sa mapa nga bumabaw yung Omega Esports. Lamang sila ng mga 300, 400 gold lang dito. And so far, what's a gold lane matchup like? Medyo okay lang na nakakaisa pa lang each na death. Si Donut sa self lane. Well, to answer your question, anytime above ground, parang kayo sa isang sisilo na yung masaya. Masaya siya. Dahil makapag-farm, makapag-stack siya. At this point, one death. Oh, oh, not too bad. Para sa sisilo. Yup. And again, the rotational speed of Omega Esports. Free kill for Ryzen in mid, but Alon, all down. Victor by Cadenza. Out wide, the Undying Fury! Babagsak naman dito, Kiman Sungilog, and there's a pull. I'm offended. Which boys palayo. Damage control for Omega Esports. Napakamahal ng mga engagement sila dito. Parating may trade ang next play. And Omega Esports will be able to secure the turret. Gusto gusto ko yung play ni Cadenza na yun, going for the what call, TikTok plays kung saan gagamitin niya agad yung injector tapos tsaka siya mag-flaker catching off guard and si Chakto Rafaela we get more wow Cadenza 1-0-4 for this uh, Jawhead Lethal Jawhead uh, ang namang na next to Evos I mean kapag may gusto siya lang target confirmed yun eh di ba? just like this underneath oh walang back up Ryzen gets another one. Nalikti Oreshi ng bahagya. Cyclone Eye, nag-trigger. Naligtas sila yung Torre, pero hindi naligtas si H2. And bottom lane, uh, I think doon nakakabaw eh. Donut, nakalamang yan na isang Torre. And that opens up this uh, third turtle for next play Evos. Well, so the main problem para sa isang, uh, uh, sa isang Olus going for the jungler role is wala siyang flicker. That means na kapag mag-isa siya, dali niya talaga dive in. Look at Omega Esports going in for the kill kay H2. At this point, si H2 hindi siya pwedeng basta-basta magpakita sa mapa without the help of his teammates kasi ang dali niyang patayin. Lalo lang lang ako solo tapos nagpapakita siya sa minimap ng Omega Esports. Knowing that may ling, pwede siyang i-go talaga no, no, wherever he goes. So he has to be careful showing himself in the minimap. Oh! Kamundi ka na mahuli pero dito sa may hilaga. On cam pa yun, on cam. Si Outplayed ay na 2v1 ni uh, Hayes at ni Cadenza. Oh no, si Orechi pala yan. I'm sorry, that's the XP laner on the Ruby. That's a free kill and eventually nakahabol na nga si H2. Hindi nila naantay. Naging Lord na in 8 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's see, nasaan si Ryzen? Can he clutch it with the Retribution? Renzi, ang ganda na position dito. Charging of the Falling Star Moon. Jumping on to Donut. Ejector on to Ryzen. Forcing out the Tempest of Blades. Makapatay na doon si Cadenza. Healing up with the Killing Spree. Si Oreshi na yata ang susunod. Healing with the Lifesteal, the Spell Bomb. Eto, Max, mababurst down dito ni Hayes. Nabitin ang mga Wisps. And it's gonna be a turnaround. Ryzen takes down the Matilda. Two for none so far. And Omega Esports, time to recover. Harap sila ng uh, take sa mapa, mid and bottom. My goodness, napaaganda na ng pwesto ng NXP Evils. With the pwesto nila, they also utilize si Cadenza for extra vision. At natalo na agad si Ryzen. Unfortunately, hindi enough yung burst nila. Tabuhay pa nga doon yung Ling. Yung Ling was very low at that point. Kaso yun nga, nang na-ultian sila ng, ng uh, Kagura. Eto Max with the Yin Yang overturned, punishing both 
Oreshi as well as Cadenza. Kaya naman na boy din si Ryzen kasi sinapagkilig si Pima siya. At uh, to top it all off, ito Max, proving na pwedeng-pwede ang flicker sa isang Kagura, ginamit yun para makalayo. A very defensive usage of the of the battle spell, but it paid off in the end. Ang pinaka-icing pa dyan, sa kick ng Omega Esports ay hindi nila naibigay yung Lord. Ooh, nice flicker. Yep. Kanina pa, ganito maglaro si Outplay. Very risky, but it's worth it. Makakaisa sila kay Cadenza. At boy pa nga, yung kupa niya. This is going to be a, a slow roll for Omega Esports na makakuha ng dominant positioning. So far, uh, Omega Esports, nagkaharap sila na actual ng spike ulit. Ba't ganun, Wolf? Normal ba yun? Is that, is that a pattern? Kasi kahapon ganito yung mga draft nila eh. Na parang may mid-game or late-game spike. Uh, I guess so. Uh... Once makita natin, okay, baka mga one off lang. Twice, Ooh, they intended it. But after seeing it three times, tapos same na si Descarte, and it gets better each time, maybe you can say, yeah, this is definitely a pattern. At baka bumabalik ang Omega Esports sa roots nila kung saan they're the kings of the late game, right? And now against NXP Evos, even better to prove their point na, okay, hindi one off yung nangyari, hindi champa yung mga comebacks kahapon. This is actually part of the identity already of Omega Esports. Omega Esports, uh, again, they, they change every time from the <laughs> old ways of exploration until now, na may bago silang jungler at try to outplayed. I mean, really siyang style. Kailan natin kung paano mag-adjust ay next play Evos. Oreshi tries to catch one. That's the uh, Sanguine Claws. Na delikado rin naman. Uh, walang purify kasi sa Omega Esports, no? So they only have that cleanse on... Eto, Max Falling Star mo dito ni Renzio. Sasalay niya sa mukha. Ang I'm offended. Pati ang dying fury. But it's enough of a destruction para masecure ng Lord doon. Down goes ka, Benza. Tempers of Blades used to disengage Omega Esports. Libre mo patay. Libre ng Lord. They're feeling great in this 11 minute, 30 second game. Oh, wow. Renzio. Super duper commendable na pag out, uh, pag zone out. Members of NXP Evos. It's not like one v one salima. It's still coming out, uh, coming out alive. Ginamit yung wall na yon doon sa my rock or sa uh, sa area ng rock or sa flickering so that he will not be reached by the members of NXP Evos. Ang naging effect nun ay nakapag free lord ng Omega. Yep. Tira natin kung magulit ka ba yun. Circling Ego and all the skills of all four members na nandito sa may bottom lane. Sobra naman yata. Masyado na malakas. Si Rendy ako masasurvive niya pa yun. Next day was nakabawi. Free kill. Pero back to damage control sila. Back to managing the waves kasi may lord sa taas. Yeah. At this point, hindi naman din. Hindi na ganun kahirap pa pag-defense. Lalo na wala si Rendyo. So no no split push or no straight up hard push for Omega Esports gonna happen after the first door. Unless si Outplayed tinangke ang Torre. Gamit si Kupa at nakakuha pa ng uh, Torre dun sa may bottom lane. Weapon Master Popolin Kupa. So good. Sobrang saya ako Wolf. Sabihin ko na sobrang saya ako na talagang marksman na nga si Popolin Kupa. Dati yeah. tank. Pero ngayon, minsan pa ka postpor eh. Pero ngayon sobrang saya ako nasa gold lane siya. Flicker in. Hi Cadenza. Cancelled the engagement with the Guiding Wind. Ryzen, ano nakakaw niya ba? Oh! He does! Wow. Hindi lang pala si H2 ang may lahe. Pero wait lang, I'm offended by Oreshi here. If you know, you know. That's gonna be the disengage right there. Alam mo yung maganda dito, nabigyan pa nila ng free purple buff dito si Eto Max. So that means yung mage ng Omega Esports ay magkama additional na ma-control of his own mana pool. And interestingly si H2, hindi naman niya sobrang kailangan ng purple buff but Omega Esports will be really happy with that and Chakto evading that. Yep. So far, lumalaki na yung gold gap, Omega Esports. At nakita na natin eh, na nakakuha sila ng grip, nakakuha sila ng magandang position. And this is their mid-game spike. Again, looking at their lineup, medyo expensive yung heroes nila. You have the Ling, you have the Esmeralda, then you have the Popoli Kupa. Pero nagawa nila paraan. Uh, ahead by three turrets, ahead by a Lord. And now an engagement here in mid. It's Etomax and Ryzen. Hindi na mabubuhay si Kapitan Kaibig. But here comes Rentio to the rescue. Pinipigilan lang ang malupit na push na next to Evos. All five men here. Who oh, first down? The H2. Nag-aarap ng bawi dito ang next play, Evos. Pero masyadong maraming units. Masyadong maraming nangyayari dito sa mid. At hindi pa ready yung stacks ni Donut. Luminous Lord up already. 14 minutes. 
Oh, another pull in and a takedown. Sak Mamba. Nahirapan na bigla. Hindi mo pala tapos ang next ring Evos. If ang uh, malupit doon eh, nakuhaan na patayan na matay yung kanilang jungler. With a very nice pick-off mula sa Omega Esports in the back uh, uh, rock lines. At nakita natin si Update doon. Dapat ang advantage na sa Omega na dahil wala silang entry in this third fight. But I think they have equalized. But Omega Esports, Papa Pilisin. Oh, how about round two si Renzio? Ginagawa na naman niya muli. Mr. Kadwa wow. will see you now. Nakipag 1v1 sa tatlo lang naman, Wolf. Tatlo lang naman siya this time. Pero Luminous Lord ang nabigay sa Omega Esports noon. So... Ang ganda na nung, ginawa, ganda nung ginawa ng Omega Esports sa pick-off ng kay H2. It uh, took long enough para mapabak na konti yung NXP Evos. Eventually, mapapatay na si Chuck, no? But, ang ginawa nila is ginawa na agad nila yung Lord before the H2 response. However, the burst is real still from the lineup that Nexley Evos is fielding. Basta maagad ka, basta mahuli ka na ejector. Pagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagpapagp
Mula doon sa sinasabi natin over-aggressiveness nila doon sa may bottom lane, nakabawi with, in fact, bawing-bawi 